yeah we are in live now so i think i hope uh, we are waiting for a few audience to join us then i think we might can start okay no problem. let's see how many they join so we can start very short so some audience once join we we'll start our live sessions about the discussion of There are sound. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're in live now. So we, we might can start. Okay. okay. So you start with the interaction, right? Your interaction? Yeah, yeah. I'll do the from the beginning. I hope. Okay. Okay, so we're in live now. So we, we might can start. Yeah, some people have already joined, so okay. we can start. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Shobhu and uh, from NSS Solution. Today we are here with one of the very reputed university in Malaysia, which is called University of Cyberja, which is located in Cyberja. This is the hot city of Malaysia, we could say, and very diverse city, like city, very beautiful, clean city. Uh, in Malaysia, and with mm -hmm. me, uh, honorable chief guest, uh, Mr. Uh, Shib Shiva. So he is the marketing officer from University of Cyberja. So who would like to know about the details about their courses, tuition fees, about the applications, admission procedures? So you can comment us, and also you can join with us. And also, no two number actor information page is Jeta Hotcha Aske declared the essay. Malaysian immigration among EMGS take a shed a hot and not to an ebong jara proton student as a tara keep a Malaysia entry go to our other home country that's a say shock all to third journal I'm not a set of live a joint current I'm rask a shock all information and update up in the kiddie so join with us now I'm going to pass to Mr. Siva to discuss about and describe himself and about the university among and about the new SOP which is declared by today hi Mr. Siva Hello everyone, how are you? Kamunachan. Okay, very good evening. I wish to all the my Bangladeshi students and my friend uh, Sobu Hussain giving this opportunity to be live with all the students from Bangladesh. Okay, I hope that today I am able to guide everyone towards the application to the University of Cyber Jaya, okay, in Malaysia, towards various programs into the medical field, okay, and then the science programs and management programs that we are offering with a lot of special discounts and promotions and very good news also is waiting for you to the end. So I hope all the students wait and listen to me until the end. If you have any questions, please put down the comment yeah, there. Okay, okay? Yeah. we're able to answer you, okay? So before we start, okay, and I will bring you to a glimpse of the what is the university is about, how does it looks like, okay? okay so sure, let me sure. play a video. So, if you have a question, you can ask me about the SOP and SOP. If you have a question, you can ask me about the SOP. If you have a question, you can ask me about the SOP. If you have a question, you can ask me about the SOP. If you have a question, you can ask me about the SOP. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so Yeah, I got that. Okay. Yeah, but the video is not clear. Yeah, now okay. I'm not the video dictation at the University of Cyberjar campus. One. When a student join in uh, University of Cyberjar, you will get the same facilities. There is not like 
hundred percent correct information. All. all. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Shiva, for sharing the university campus video. Okay, so, so that's the video okay, of the campus. Okay, students, just now you've seen a very beautiful campus in Malaysia, which is located in the place called Cyber Jaya. Okay, so let us let me bring you to the towards the campus. Now you see the video, right? So I bring you now step by step to step in the campus. Okay, sure, sure. okay so this is the campus okay you can see the name of the university it's called as a I university i couldn't see it could you please share the skin oh it's, it's not viewing yeah okay, okay yeah yeah sure oh okay i think now you can view yeah yeah now i can see okay and right so yes this students okay. yeah i'm making full now yeah sure thank you okay is it full now okay. yes not full. okay dear students see this is a beautiful campus located in a place called cyber jaya what is cyber jaya about okay if you can see cyber there the name is a cyber everyone knows about cyber um, cyber cafe okay cyber crime and then uh, cyber cyber means something related to it okay information technology at this new era, a lot of people wanted to be really interested about the IT. Anything I talk about IT, uh, technology, so everybody will be interested. So that is called as a cyber. Okay, cyber, Jaya is a developed. So it's a developed IT city of Malaysia. Okay, this city is located, this city and the university is located exactly 30 minutes from the Kuala Lumpur International Airport and 30 minutes towards the Kuala Lumpur City Center. So we are in the middle. So anybody from the Kuala Lumpur city want to go to the airport, they must pass by this Cyberjaya city, okay? The IT yeah. city of Malaysia. And we are very much nearly located to the uh, national administrative capital, which is called as a Putrajaya. It means our ministers or main people all will be, government office will be there in Putrajaya. So we are next two words, okay? Cyberjaya and Putrajaya. So now you can imagine in which location the university is located, okay? So it is also, a developed city and also a lot of students in, are staying here. So very safe city for students. But the university, University of Cyberjaya started in 2005. Initially known as a Cyberjaya University College of Medical Sciences. And it is excelling very much well because the name itself is Medical Sciences. Medical Science field uh, is known very well. And upon as uh, uh, we making as a University of Cyberjaya, we also have uh, other courses like a management and science related programs so i'll bring you towards there and this is the city as i mentioned it's the first smart city when us when people call it city they know as a silicon valley in malaysia it is cyber jaya okay, you can see right it's a very beautiful city it's a smart city in malaysia okay and this is a five star rated university recently we also retained this five star ranking for a few years okay we are top five star university in Malaysia. Okay, rank as an excellent university. Okay, because why five star is very important whenever you want to go to any places. They call, they call this as a five star hotel. It is a five star service. It means it's a good service. So our university also rated five star, not only in Malaysia, worldwide, under the QS ranking. Every student wants to know what is the ranking of the university. So we also rank five star in the QS, 
in the uh, field of employability. Okay, very important, right? Employability when a students go graduated, so where they go next? So the job market is ready, welcoming all the students under the employability skills that we are teaching while they're studying with us. And facilities, the facilities also rank five star. So that means that any programs or any study students joining our university, all kind of facilities are ready available for student to use. Okay, labs, library, okay, and then the uh, medical facilities, everything is available within the university. Inclusiveness. So our service for the students always is like a five star, right? So inclusive, you know, when students have any problem, when you are in the class, you have any problem, you always can find the lecturer. So that's why inclusiveness playing an important role also. And teaching, we have a teacher lecturers from the Malaysian and international faculty members are there to guide the students towards any um, issues related to studies. And they are they actually excellent in terms of um, passing the knowledge to the students. Oh, very important. We also rank worldwide rank under the impact ranking of the Times Higher Education. This is a worldwide ranking. We rank top 601 in 2020, just recently. Okay, we got ranked worldwide 601, okay, under the impact ranking. So this is a well-known university in the worldwide as well. So student population, we have around 2,000, uh, sorry, around 20, uh, up to 2020, we have around 3,500 students in the campus. And this population is a uh, keep growing. Okay, let's go to the programs. Okay, so we have programs from the foundation up to PhD. Okay, so let me explain about the programs. When you see foundation here, the foundation, uh, we have a three foundation program in our university, which is known as foundation arts. Foundation Science leading to medicine and pharmacy. Foundation Allied Science. Foundation Arts, it doesn't mean it's not for, only for drawing program. This is uh, arts means it's a non-science program. Like uh, any students, if you're interested to come for the uh, business studies, you can enroll through a foundation in arts. Okay, about the foundation. Why foundation? What is foundation? Okay, foundation is a tailor-made program for any students who already completed SSC or O levels to go into the bachelor's program okay so this is a fast track program this foundation the duration will be only one year upon completion of foundation for example if you're interested after the session you're interested to join a foundation program so if you join foundation now march intake 101 percent upon passing the foundation in next year march you'll be joining the bachelor's program if you're completing foundation arts now the next year march you'll be joining Bachelor of Business Administration. This is a fast track. For this foundation, we need minimum five credits. Okay, five credits. Okay, so the following program, Foundation in Science leading to Medicine and Pharmacy. This program is very specifically designed for any students who want to go for, for their studies in Medicine and Pharmacy, they must come through a Foundation in Science. Okay, non-Medicine and Pharmacy students can go into the Foundation Allied Science. All these programs need five credits, okay, especially foundation science minimum, specifically mentioned, we need minimum three, five Bs, okay, five Bs needed to go into the foundation in science. Foundation in life science and foundation arts, five C is possible, okay, and foundation in life science, we need minimum five Cs, including mathematics and science, okay, can go into foundation in life science. So which are these program can leading to? I'll come through the bachelor's program afterward. Okay. So diploma programs. We have six diploma programs in our university. So what is this diploma program? What is different between foundation and diploma? When you see foundation, foundation, as I mentioned, is a, just a bridging program for any student from the O levels or SSC to go into the bachelor's. Okay. Similarly, diploma also need a student from the O levels or SSC to go into a diploma programs. Then what is the difference? Okay, so the difference is foundation, a foundation student must go into the bachelor's. Okay, it's a bridging. But diploma student, if they didn't go to the bachelor's, still they can go into the working environment. Because in the diploma itself, it is a duration for 2.5 years to the three years. So they will be learning a lot of basic skills so they're able to go into the job market so that is a difference with the same diploma student wish to go to the bachelor's they're able to get one year exemption 
depends on the programs. Okay, I hope this is clear about the difference between foundation and diploma. So diploma program that we have is diploma in occupational safety and health. Okay, so this is about safety and health. This is very important because the entire world is in the pandemic now, including Bangladesh. So a lot of people now they started to go back into the working environment. When these people, the industry, they are starting back, so they need a lot of people who graduated in occupation safety and health to make sure the working environment is actually safe and healthy for the employees. Okay, not only about this pandemic, this also require in uh, industries like uh, uh, manufacturing industries, okay, so service industries, so all the industries needed occupation safety and health. In our university, we have this program from diploma up to PhD. Diploma in psychology, okay, this is about the psychology, about learning about human, okay, so about the, this is, uh, students must have a lot of skills to learn about human, okay, so what is the problem somebody have, how to solve it, do you have, you have some skill sets to overcome these problems. So we also have this program from the diploma up to PhD. The next is diploma in medical assistant. This is can call as a small doctor, okay, small doctor, where a medical assistant able to perform a simple uh, task that uh, can say as a like a mini nurse, okay, or mini doctor, okay, in a hospital, okay, and uh, medical institution, okay. So diploma in medical assistant. So those who are wish to become a doctor, uh, they can. Uh, but they want to go for, they're not qualified for the bachelor's, they can come for the diploma in medical assistant. Say they're working in the hospital. Okay, and the following will be the diploma in business administration. Okay, so this is a very interesting program for Bangladesh students. They will like a lot about business administration, business management programs. So this program we have from the diploma up to bachelor's and PhD. We have this diploma in business administration just need minimum three credits okay, to enroll into the business administration. If you can see this, uh, dip, all the diploma programs, the minimum entry requirement will be three to five credits, depends on the programs. And some programs need a certain subjects. To know very detail on this, please quickly submit your results to the uh, NSS solution, they able to guide you well. The following will be the diploma in cosmetics. Diploma in cosmetics, what is cosmetic? Because everyone knows, is it a girl's thing? No, Yeah. So cosmetic, cosmetic, something like a, a guy also can learn cosmetic because this is about uh, how you can make a business in cosmetic world. It's huge business in the world now. Everybody wants to look very much pretty and handsome. Even now, guys looks like to put some cosmetics. Okay. So this cosmetics, the students will be learning how to mix the cosmetic, how to make it, because we understand, right? Everybody have a different skin tone, okay? And then the skin, the allergic, a lot of things are there. So this is where the student will learn this, uh, this matters very detailed, okay? So how to mix the cosmetic, how to create own branding. Maybe you can have your own branding in your country. So following will be the diploma in accounting, okay? So this is something related to the business accounting, okay? So we have for up to bachelor's also for accounting as well. So I hope these two programs explain very well. Okay, and thank you. If you still have any details needed, so always please feel free to contact us. So the yeah, next contact details in the below. So it's rolling, so people can contact with us who are like to yes. study. Yes, Mr. Sobus is based in Malaysia, so you always can ring him at any time. Yeah, you can WhatsApp me also. Okay, so let's go to the undergraduate programs. Okay, so this program for undergraduate, we need minimum A levels or HSC. Okay, so the, our very much signature program is a Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, MBBS. So we are leading university for this program. Okay, this program is the main program in our university. So a lot of students were interested to come for this program. Okay, the seats are always limited, and we have a uh, only one intake in a year, which is September intake. Okay, so for this, okay, we need minimum three Bs. Okay, for Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Pharmacy. These two programs, minimum three Bs at A level. Okay, three Bs. Okay, so your pointer must be very high. 
for these two programs. In the subjects must be uh, chemistry, uh, physics, and biology. Okay, so remember these three pro study, uh, three subjects very important. If you are still in the school, still studying, you have to focus on. If you want to become a doctor, you need to focus on these three subjects. Okay, so uh, we do have this program. Both programs are for September intake: Bachelor of Pharmacy and Bachelor of Medicine. Okay, so pharmacy. Okay, so you know the pharmacy. Uh, they they be they are specialists in the all kind of med uh, medications. Okay, so they have all the medications where the doctor and pharmacy are related. And the third program, we have homeopathic medical science. This is a different kind of doctor, which is this doctor, uh, they will have a, a special clinics, okay, which is called traditional medicine. Okay, so they learn about traditional medicine. A lot of traditional medicine you might heard, like uh, the Indian system, they call it Ayurvedic, okay, and then the Chinese medicine, Malay traditional medicine, okay, Yunani, so lot of uh, traditional medicines are there so you will be learning into the homeopathic medical science program okay so how to make sure this uh, those who not qualified for the bed, uh, above two programs but still want to do something in medical field they may consider for the homeopathic medical science it's a growing field in the world as well and this program we also send you for training in one of the hospitals yeah, uh, this is also I think uh, is another pro uh, like uh, popular in Bangladesh also. Many people believe in homeopathic, which is natural. Yes, natural medications. Yes, exactly. So uh, yeah. this is I think quite popular in Bangladesh. Okay, then very important news also. This program only available in my university in Southeast Asia. In yeah. Southeast Asia, only this university offering this. This is I think a good opportunity for the students who would like to study in Malaysia. So this is one of the program only in South Asia, which is offering by University of Cyberja. Yes, correct. OK, so the following after that is will be the occupation safety and health. It's the same I mentioned in, uh, in a diploma. So we have bachelor up to PhD. Biomedical engineering technology. What is biomedical? What is biomedical? People think biomedical engineering. How does it together? Because everybody knows that in medical world, OK, everybody knows about doctor and then the hospital. But there are a lot of things are supporting these facilities, which is called as the equipments. Okay, a lot of medical equipments are there. So these graduates, biomedical engineering graduates, is a person who actually fixing, okay, and then troubleshoot, and then the, uh, set up these medical equipments in all the hospitals and then medical institutions. So very important also because every time when we seek, we find the doctor, but what will happen if the machine is not functioning? So we need to have a lot of biomedical uh, graduates. I, I think this is a sh uh, like short abbreviation of biomedicals. It's the doctor of the equipments. Yes, doctor of equipments, correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK, so a growing field because uh, we need a uh, current situation. So a lot of uh, medical facilities are being improvised in a lot of countries because those medical facilities, which is uh, very much old, so countries now renewing all these uh, medical facilities because uh, the number of patients are keep increasing okay so every year you can see there's no country that uh, patients are keep decreasing people when people growing the disease also growing and the and then the uh, hospital also growing so we need a lot of uh, specialists into the biomedical engineering field to assist on these matters okay following will be the psychology so also mentioned in the diploma so up to phd we have psychology programs so this is a human specialist, okay? Whenever you have anything, depression, okay, any issue, so psychologists are there in the, some, some hospitals have the psychiatrists and then up to the uh, schools, hospitals, schools, universities also, they have psychology graduates to yeah. assist the students as well. It's called in, a, in Bengali, it's called like a mono -bishishakko. So like, which is like reading mind and giving the like idea or satisfaction or information or helping throughout the like problems yes psychologists also actually they have their own uh, methods of healing and then they need to find out uh, the cause okay and then we, they actually because not everybody can become psychology psychologists because they need a lot of uh, patience to learn about the people okay so a uh, very noble program also okay so because they they work with the people humans okay and the following will be the physiotherapy. Okay, physiotherapy is about the 
it's also about the humans about body okay so a lot of uh, people now going for physiotherapy those in the gyms okay they want to the, reduce their weight okay they want to increase their weight okay they want to live healthy lifestyle okay exercise so physiotherapy is playing very uh, important role uh, in terms of the building a healthy uh, lifestyle okay okay and then the balance three programs are related into the business okay bba business administration so this is a very famous program in bangladesh and i have a very good news for this program also so i will tell you later and we have a international business management and we have a accounting and finance program so these three programs are related to the business world okay thank you very much okay. i still have uh, for the postgraduate programs so this postgraduate programs we have a uh, 13 programs from master up to doctorate master of medical sciences by research this is uh, okay all the masters program is very important uh, that i need to talk to those people who already graduated and working and you have some experience most of the times you're thinking that okay i want to grow in my career i want to grow in my field you can consider to joining a postgraduate program with our university okay medical sciences by research okay this is for the all the those with the medical uh, qualifications you can join this program is by research okay and master of clinical pharmacy okay this is also very limited seats for this program the pharmacy graduates can come for the clinical pharmacy master of science in occupational health, safety and health okay this is also we offer from the diploma up to phd and doctor of pharmacy okay doctor of pharmacy is of those who are from the bachelors of pharmacy okay bachelor of pharmacy just do the doctor of pharmacy so they can become a doctor doctor okay and master in science okay this is so by research okay so at uh, entire programs we offering in the bachelors okay they can come into the master of science by research master of clinical psychology okay later to the psychology program that we have a bachelor's so they can go for the clinical psychology master of business administration mba for the business graduates and for any graduates any bachelor graduates you can come for the master mba program and following will be the msc in public health okay master of science in public health is global health okay also for the medical graduates okay you can come for this program master of pharmaceutical science okay so for pharmacy graduates and for the doctorate programs we have a phd doctor of philosophy in science programs okay science uh, masters graduates can come for the doctor of philosophy by research in science and doctor of philosophy phd in uh, medical science this is for medical graduates and for the pharmaceutical science and management okay so management is related after the mba programs the student can come for the phd in management Okay, so these are the uh, 13 programs in the postgraduate level okay this is the important announcement as mentioned okay so we have a scholarship offers okay you must come through uh nss solution okay so ask them how am i going to get 60 percent scholarship okay so they're able to guide you this is very very good news at the starting of the year with this COVID situations a lot of people are thinking i have some financial problem funding problem so you can come and obtain this 60% scholarships, okay? It's up to 60% means we, it be starting from the 10% up to 60% depends on the programs, okay? So the program wise, you'll be able to get this 60% scholarship, okay? So very important, bring your results, okay? Whenever you're asking them, send your results personally to them and ask, okay? With this results, what I can offer, what you can offer. So they're able to guide you well, okay? Scholarships, at the moment, offered to all the qualified students. When you're eligible, you're able to obtain the scholarship as well. It's a limited time scholarship. Okay, so NSS solution able to guide you on this scholarship uh, application. Okay. And campus facilities. Okay, so this is a classroom, okay, library. All the facilities are there. You know about the facilities. We got five stars under the uh, QS ranking worldwide. So full facilities are there. And laboratories, whatever you study in the classroom, we have a labs to test and then to learn. Okay, so these are the labs available. All the programs we have labs to test. Student accommodation, very important. Where you're going to stay? Okay, it's just walking distance. Okay, this place is just walking distance. Uh, the nice. are, yes, Cyberja is very nice place, IT city. So students have all kind of facilities. Okay, 
So student also we the student prefer that okay I'm coming with the, my friends I want to stay with my friends and separately also we allow them but uh, first of all you need to check with the NSS solution in the university about your safety is very important so for that purpose you can stay in accommodation student accommodation first okay and then you can move on later okay so this is within walking distance this accommodation is there okay this is how the rooms looks like you're inside the room okay the charges will be usd 100 to 250 a month okay so it's the sharing room okay you also can choose to be a single room okay but the range will be 100 to 250 per month it's apartment type of hostel where you can have a four rooms inside the apartment with the common usage of the kitchen dining hall and living room so these are places commonly everybody can be used uh, you can see kitchen is there, so I think students yeah. now can cook, can think about what they're going to cook. So maybe you can cook the biryani also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely they can cook also biryani, whatever they like to cook. Yes, but very important, don't uh, forget to call me. <laughs> okay. okay, following the next will be the student activities. Okay, um, student cannot think that okay, I'm studying here, so what are the activities we have? We have a uh, Students are joining campus activities, the state activities up to national and international activities as well. So a lot of uh, sports events also we is conducting for the students. So the healthy environment is already always there where students will not only will be the classroom based, students also will be exposed to the exterior activities as well. Okay, the living cost, this is what I found, which is uh, um, per month, okay, per month, 200 to 250 per month. Uh, food three to five per day. If you cook, will be much lower than this. Yeah, cheaper. Right. All this food I am put in the USD. So telecommunication I put on uh, fifty ringgits per month. Okay, so telecom comes with together with the internet, and the campus is a Wi-Fi facilities already there. So if you want to have your own, so around fifty ringgits per month. So laundry uh, around seven to eight ringgits per usage, and medical. Okay, all the students will be getting a medical card. Okay. All students get medical card, but if you still want to go by yourself, so around 50 ringgit for each visit. And leisure entertainment, so you want to go for, of course, you want to go for uh, movies, okay? So this is, I put on uh, $5 per uh, one time, each time you're using. Transportation, if you want to go anywhere, you can use the Grab services. Soon, there's a train going to come to Cyberjay as well, MRT, yeah. so you can use the train to go to CD, okay? So this is I put around five dollars each time you use using this and lifestyle. Okay, you want to cut your hair, you want to make it nice. So you want to go like a malls and everywhere. So I put uh, five dollars each time. So approximate this approximate two hundred to two hundred fifty per month. This is not actual. It can be lesser than this also depends on your lifestyle. Okay, very important. You cannot go and eat at a mall every day and then um, focus. This uh, cost would be very high. Okay, so I believe that Bangladesh are able to manage themselves because. They mostly they prefer to cook, and they stay together. They can share a lot of costs together as well. Yeah, true. Okay, so this is a lot of awards and achievements from the university that we got from national and international level. And okay, that's all. That's about my presentation. So now we can open for the Q and A session. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Mr. Shiva. To uh, discuss about university of cyber about the university about the programs and other courses so now we are going to pass to like a few of our students the comments so now i'm going to display and our uh, special guest going to replay your questions so we will have questions you can ask the questions question i said question special guest going to replay okay one of the students he's most of a cycle he asks okay so highly ranked university appreciate your fully and detailing info thank you brother hope you able to join us very soon as soon as possible and uh, very important this scholarship offer is very much limited so that's why we are here today to explain to you all these things okay and you need any further information please contact us immediately we able to assist you I got another uh, comments from the students. Okay, Valentine. So BBA full programs completed online. Would it be the first year course, second and third year course? So could you please share about the BBA and it can be done by fully online? I think that question asks student. 
um at the moment uh, bba is because we are not uh, online based university we are campus based university student have to travel to malaysia because the reason of okay why you want to study abroad why you want to have a abroad degree because if you want to get experiential learning you need to experience yourself in malaysia okay with the cyber jay environment with the malaysian uh, environment so while experiencing the learning you you getting more actually okay so not only about studies because sometimes you need to do uh, okay you asking about bba right so in bba there's a subject maybe they ask you to go interview the human resource department of a company a marketing manager for company so you able get this kind of uh, exp- experience experience and exposure as well when i say companies in malaysia it's not about the malaysian company sometimes we have a us company based in malaysia german company based in malaysia so you have this kind of exposure okay so who knows maybe through the contacts you might get a job from them upon you finishing your studies so this is the main reason of studying abroad and choosing malaysia okay so it's not fully online okay it is campus based learning okay and second thing is for the time being until uh, okay uh, we going to open the borders very soon okay so for the time being you able to uh, do the online programs until you able to reach malaysia okay we call it a hybrid model of studies okay which is blended within uh, campus and online as well okay. and online yes this so, hybrid model it's a good place here the tuition fees for the bba programs okay uh, very be- very good question tuition fees are very much affordable for the bba program especially because it going to cost you uh, sure. okay after the scholarship okay after the scholarship of a okay the scholarship is more than 45 percentage okay the tuition fee going to be uh, 10000 ringgits per year okay so, so you have uh, three years so like 30000 yeah run 2 lakhs per year bangladesh taka 2 lakhs per year okay there's a tuition fee okay thank you very much brother okay there have another question okay so mba first year cost and total cost how many intakes and deadline of the applications wow the same person asking again so very much yeah. interested in this person okay for mba program also uh, mba program is more than 50% okay say more than 50% for mba program where the students uh, for mba uh, first year okay it's only three fees okay three times only you have to pay initial fee which is uh, you're paying for the uh, visa and then the registration 4200 mm-hmm. and then your first year fee 12000 and then your second year fee 6000 all together 22200 for the clear yeah. program yes for the two years is a 22200 is more than 50% scholarship is given yeah, intake will be the coming intake will be the 7th of february so if any students interested if immediately they apply still be able to join our february intake after february it will be may intake okay thank there you very much not only the three intakes after may will be october intake okay so i got another question from the person is university help a student to get part time job <laughs> okay <laughs> as the university uh, we only can offer you for studies okay so for the part time jobs which is uh, officially not allowed okay for the students only can do part time jobs during the semester break okay 20 hours a week that one also so they need to apply through the immigration so that they enable them to work okay but the duration for the semester break also very short okay for the mba program especially our classes will be two days in a week which is evening classes okay so evening oh. classes so it will be very flexible for you okay so that uh, the day time you have a plenty of time you able to do the uh, research okay the group studies assignments okay all these things you can do during the day time okay so mba is two day per week yes two days per week so is it weekend or weekday big days so weekend uh, there is any programs uh, mba weekend so is when you can choose like that uh, so far we don't have but uh, depends on the numbers and then future uh, enrollments we can plan for that at the moment uh, the classes will be two days in a week which is the big days and evening classes okay all right thank you very much brother yes. for your explanation and thank you so so far yeah it was our last uh, like 
Okay, uh, no problem. Let's go to the important matter that you mentioned about the students traveling to Malaysia. Okay, okay. so yeah. now we are going to show the new SOP, which is uh, declared by today by Malaysian government. I mean the EMGS, which is Education Malaysia. So this is uh, like the SOP, which is like published by today. You can see the date, 15 of January, 2020. So in that. Uh, SOP is like clearly stated that the for the opening all inter, for entry international students, all existing and new students can entry in Malaysia except who are from UK. So only Jara UK Malaysia all other country students can enter in Malaysia. And they have like the quarantine period. So it's total 10 days quarantine. Three days their own country and seven days in Malaysia. So like the three days is like before come Malaysia, three days before they have to do the current, I mean the medical trial, medical checkup, then three days after they have to submit, then they can only travel to Malaysia. So this is the SOP for the new and existing students. And also another thing is who have expired their approval letter, which is got before March. So they can like uh, renew their approval. So the immigration declared they will renew their approval later. So don't you don't have to worry. So the immigration getting and taking a step to renew your approval. And whoever have the visa expired, so they have the link they given. The EMJ is given the link. So students can go through the link and get the all the details from the official website. And also they have mentioned like how students can enroll in Malaysia. So they have the quarantine. So this is the full details. They are giving the, the fees details here. So the quarantine, like pre, I mean, post arrival, uh, the treatment is 250 ringgit per person. And for the accommodation per day is 150 ringgit. And it would be like if seven days, there will be cost is around 1050 ringgit for seven days and there has a, like a quarantine station operation charge which is 2600 so in total if we calculate is uh 3650 ringgit and if we add with the like medical treatment fees i mean the checkup fees so it would be around 4000 ringgit so after that the student can join in like main program i mean their campus or after the quarantine they can go to their campus can study face to face or if the university is still like continue their courses in online they can learn staying in campus and can learn in online i think that was the best details and brother siva do you want to add some things okay this is very clear so uh wish students now uh it's very clear that students able to travel because a lot of students asking this question, whether they yeah. can travel or some even go to the website and checking whether the flight is going or not. They say no flight, I don't want to pay. Okay, so I can guarantee you that, okay, this is the official statement from the uh, government so that student able to travel now. Okay, so when we have this kind of offers and scholarships given now, so please take this opportunity. Okay, opportunity not come always. So. Now we have opportunity take this opportunity register first okay and then uh, when the traveling uh, is able enabled so you're able to come to malaysia okay yeah. so uh, now uh, there's some uh, additional cost for you uh, for the quarantine and all the others okay but uh, you can't delay more anymore because time is going on it is by up. now if to to get the scholarship event so if the delay, then everything's normal. There will be no more scholarship okay. or university or like it's tough to giving a scholarship because now in the current, I'm the current situation, university helping a student to yes, get right. a scholarship. So a student should get this opportunity not to wait and not to waste that time even because if yeah. you are finishing your study, you can join your job or business, whatever you would like to do. That will be more like appreciable for you for your life yes but delaying the time the age is catching up as well so yeah. they need to like their friends all will be joining earlier they're already finishing the studies and you will be still waiting and then looking for the opportunities okay so when there's the time 
a young age, you're able to study. So you, if you leave this time, so after that, you don't have to think your studies. You might start a job, start a business. Okay. Yeah, so where the education is very important. Okay. I know that a uh, lot of Bangladeshi students, very important, they're given very important tasks for the education. Education yeah, comes yeah. for them. Yes. Because and education and is one of a nation, even a, not a nation only, but also every family. Yes, so I think right. yeah, everyone should take the opportunity to grab the opportunity in this time also. So this time is like people going less out. So you can learn more in, in, from internet, from the university, can do more talks than before. Before like, okay, for friends, they go out. Okay, let's go for like hang out, something like that. But now is uh, everyone is slow, is ticking. So it's like can give more focus on the study. So I think students should join as soon as possible. They would like to study or can study. Yes, correct. Yeah, so we'd like to finish. Is it OK, brother? OK, so, it's fine. So since there's no questions, usually I receive a lot of questions regarding the medical program. So yeah. fine, OK. Um, if you have still have any uh, any question to ask, please put the comments there. We always reach you. Okay, we reach you at any time. You can comment, so we we'll able to help assist you to guide you and to obtain the very important to obtain the scholarship soon as possible. Okay, so I wish thanks for the Mr. Sobus and Nurses Solution giving this opportunity to connect all of you. So hope to see you very soon in our campus. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Shiva, to giving the, his uh, approachable time and also explanation and also who he would like to study in Malaysia. They, they have our contact below is 011-1091-9297. So you can reach us by contacting and we will give you as soon as possible the information. So don't avoid and don't waste your time. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.